Hello, hello guys. My name is Weston Kenyon. I'm a music producer and I live right here in Harrison, Arkansas. It's a lovely town. I call it the nicest town in America. I know it's known widely over the internet as the most racist town in America, which is a true shame because it's absolute, as most things are online, it's absolute bull. It's a very nice town. I love living here. I'm from New York originally. I've lived all over New York State. I moved down here because of, you know, the the government is terrible, but I moved down here and it feels like home to me. I love the town of Harrison. It's a very nice town. It's a very friendly town. It's the most peaceful town I've ever been to. Um, it's, uh, everybody just lives here in peace. And for those of you who don't know and have never been here, um, a lot of black people actually live here. A lot of uh, Asian people live here. A lot of Mexican people live here. We have a lot of minority groups that live here. Uh, so. It's literally exactly the same as any other town in terms of diversity. So being a resident of Harrison, Arkansas, naturally, I had to react to this video here called Holding a Black Lives Matter Sign in America's Most Racist Town. So a lot of YouTubers actually have come down here to check it out, which I appreciate. Um, they've uncovered the truth that it's not a very racist town at all and that it's pretty much no different than any other town in America. There's one thing that people always get wrong when talking to these YouTubers um, in, within Harrison, Arkansas, and it's, the, it's when they say um, that the only reason it's known as the most racist town in America is because the leader of the KKK lives nearby. That's not true. Yes, it is true that the leader of the KKK lives nearby in a town called Zinc, but it's not true that that's the reason it's known as the most racist town in America. The reason it is known as the most racist town in America is because of this video. It's because this guy decided to title his video this in order to get views. Because who's not going to click on a video called holding a Black Lives Matter sign in America's most racist town? This guy literally gave Harrison this title, this label. This guy single-handedly destroyed the reputation of a perfectly good town. It is a shame that this is the first video that comes up when you type in Harrison, Arkansas in YouTube. It has 11 million views, so 11 million people think that my town, this lovely, peaceful town where everybody of any race lives in harmony and has no altercations, is a racist town. In fact, the most racist town in America. I find it absolutely sad that this is the most popular video of Harrison, Arkansas. So I've seen this video pop up before, I've seen the thumbnail, I've seen clips of it within other videos, but I've never actually watched it. I've never seen it, I've never clicked on it, I've, I've just never had any interest in watching it. But I'm going to do so today, um, just, you know, as a resident of Harrison, Arkansas, just reacting to what somebody from, I think he's from Grand Rapids, um, I could be wrong about that, um, I, I think I saw that somewhere, but um, what this random dude thinks about this town. So before I begin, I'm actually going to clarify something, um, not, and I can't believe I have to say this, it's kind of I don't know, it's so obvious, but a lot of people <clears throat> unfortunately don't know. Not supporting Black Lives Matter doesn't make you racist. You're not racist if you don't support Black Lives Matter. There are many reasons why people don't support Black Lives Matter, but here's my reason. It is a communist movement and organization that makes money off of black people so that the founders can buy mansions and cars and clothes and whatever the heck they want. And the only reason it's called Black Lives Matter is so that you feel like you have to support it, otherwise you're racist. But without further ado, let me dive in and actually watch the video. So here we go. Harrison, Ar Harrison Arkansas. Ku Klux Klan headquarters. So right off the bat, we have a lie. Right up, the first thing we see is a lie. This is not the Ku Klux Klan headquarters. Um, the the leader of the Ku Klux Klan. That's so hard to say. The leader of the KKK um, is a guy named Thomas Robb, and he actually lives in the town of Zinc, Arkansas, which is uh, I don't know how far it is from here, like 15 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, he doesn't live 
here. He just displays his billboard here because more people will see it. Zinc is a very small town and there's not a lot of people there. And just because this guy puts his billboard here doesn't mean the whole town is racist. Same goes with Zinc. Just because he lives in Zinc doesn't mean make everybody in Zinc racist. The people in, in Zinc aren't even racist and that's where the guy lives. So yeah, Thomas Robb lives in Zinc, but none of the other people in Zinc um, are racist. And a lot of people in Zinc and Harrison don't support the guy and don't go to his church. And this is, this is a funny thing. Why do you even care about the fact that he doesn't allow black people and minority groups to go into his church? Why would you want to go to his church? So why does it even matter? It doesn't. So yeah, right off the bat we have a lie. Um, Thomas Robb does not live in Harrison and Harrison, Arkansas is not the KKK headquarters. <laughs> Um, and then we have a little caption down here that actually says, Harrison, Arkansas is the most racist town in the United States, which is also a lie. Already debunked that. Arkansas is the most racist town in the United States. Have a little pride in the race, brother! Watch pride, oh, pride. I want to say... Here's something that I don't get. What is the difference between white pride and black pride? There's such a thing as black pride, and it's not seen as something that's racist. It's seen as something that's empowering to the black community. Why is white pride seen as something that's racist? It, we should kind of hold the same standards. It's a, it's a double standard. White pride, there's nothing wrong with being proud that you're white, being proud of your roots, being proud of your race. There's nothing wrong with being proud that you're black. There's nothing wrong with being proud that you're white. Why do we frown upon white pride and, you know, worship black pride. Um, I see them both as kind of uh, dumb. I just, black pride, dumb. White pride, dumb. But if we're gonna hold um, white pride to the same standards as black pride, there's nothing wrong with white pride. After dark, man. Honestly, dude, you have a of steel. Cause you could get hospitalized by some guys that wanna beat your that's not true. Harrison, like I, oh, that guy's wearing the same shirt that I have. It is what it is, which is a shirt that you can get at Walmart, or at least you could get at Walmart, and I believe they're at Walmart right now, so that makes sense. I've been to, you know, cities all over America. This is the most peaceful city ever. You can walk around at night and feel perfectly safe. In fact, there, there's barely anybody out at night. There's like no nightlife, but if you were to walk around town at night, you would be perfectly fine. I don't feel that same sense of security walking around at night in Rochester or Buffalo. I feel like I'm gonna get uh, mugged or uh, shot even, but this is a very peaceful town and it's a very safe place to live. I've had several old men come by here, look out the window and tell me, said, you better go tell that out of here and shit. About 10 minutes, I'm gonna be back. He got his license, why? Why did you Photoshop the guy's license plate and put it on YouTube for everyone to see? I mean, yeah, I don't I don't agree with these people like driving up to him and cussing him out. Like literally protest anything on the street and you're gonna get the same reaction from the general public. I don't agree with like, you know, cussing people out. You know, they can have a cordial conversation about these obviously, but you don't need to get people's license plates and, you know, share them online for everyone to see and harass the guy if they, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you have to be a police officer in order to use that information, but it's just unnecessary. I don't know why he did that. Like, wow, who cares? Nobody's gonna, he's, he can't get arrested for, you know, free speech, First Amendment, and that's very important. We matter too. That is true. What this lady is saying is perfectly true. Um, yes, we matter too. I know Black Lives Matter, they say, it's Black Lives Matter too. I get that, but it's really not about black people at all. I agree with Black Lives Matter sentiment. Everybody does. The thing is, the organization and the movement and the thing that you're actually supporting and giving money to is a scam. It's a, it's a bad organization. If somebody tells me Black Lives Matter, I'm like, yeah, of course, because all lives matter. And then they're like, no, Black Lives Matter. And I'm like, yeah, of course they do, because all lives matter, which includes black lives. And they're like, no, black lives matter. Yes, because all lives matter. It just goes in a circle. You're a white man. 
Wait, what did she say? We matter too. You're a white man. I think she said crazy. What, why did he put? We matter too. You're a white man. I think she said it's crazy. Whatever. Are you dumb? Are you a mar Okay, so these people obviously, they're not. They're not racist people. The reason they're shouting these things at this guy, which again, I don't condone. Um, the reason they're shouting these profanities at this guy is not because they're racist and they hate black people. It's because they don't agree with Black Lives Matter. And I already, you know, uh, told you all about that and why people don't support Black Lives Matter and why it doesn't make them racist if they don't support it earlier. Um, and she's asking him if he's a Marxist, which uh, is a very valid question because the founder of uh, BLM is a self-proclaimed Marxist. So it just makes sense that, you know, somebody who supports Black Lives Matter would be a Marxist. Marxist, communist, domestic terrorist. You're a communist, domestic terrorist. Yes, uh, BLM is a domestic terrorist group. They use black people and black names to normalize or to, to, to justify uh, committing acts of domestic terrorism. Okay, so why don't you take it to Chicago or New York and hold it up? Yes! Yes! This lady is so on the ball. Um, yes, because nobody cares about... Black Lives Matter doesn't care about black-on-black -black crime. They don't care that um, <clears throat> thugs and hoodlums in Chicago or New York are shooting up black neighborhoods and killing black children. They don't care. They only care if a white person does something to a black person. Uh, it's sad. Why don't you take it to Chicago or New York and hold it up where they're shooting each other? Explain to me why. Very valid. Explain to me why. Okay, that guy. That was the only guy so far in this video that seemed pretty racist. I'm Jesus. Got a pair. Don't make it here. Hey, all lives matter, not just black. True. Very true. You're, you're Caucasian. Dude, you're white. Dude, dude, you're white. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Exactly. Why are you... St why are you speaking for black people? What, you think they don't have the means or the, the brains to be... Or the guts to do it themselves? Why do you feel like you have to speak for black people? You look like a white guy holding a black guy. <laughs> you look like a white guy holding a black yeah because that's what it is that's that's funny this right here is the biggest hoax there ever was true it is a scam blm is a scam it's the next thing to isis just the next thing to ask it, it is yeah black lives do matter but what about ours man uh, apparently black people's lives matter more than us apparently what these people are saying is totally valid like there's nothing racist about any of the stuff that these people are saying, except that one guy that used the c-word, uh, not that c-word, <laughs> the you know, the black c-word. Irish head. And you know, this guy. But using the n-word doesn't make you racist. <clears throat> it depends on the intent of the user. Uh, if you're using it in a malicious. Uh, context yeah it's racist um if you're just saying the word no uh this guy apparently. Wait, what is that? apparently black people's lives matter more than us apparently you know the irish you know the irish head didn't even play the whole clip i wanted to hear what that guy was saying about the irish how did that guy even decipher what this guy was saying as they drove by? It was a jumble of bulk. The, the only thing that I could hear was the N-word. Hey Mike, how's your day going? Walmart, they put out this statement. Advancing our work on racial equity. Black Lives Matter, it is all our responsibilities to embrace that fact in what we say and what we do. There's no way to live our values if we don't. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Walmart is, you know, stupid woke organization. I'm not surprised. They just, you know, they put this out just to 
to cover their butts. I'm going to ask you to leave. Exactly what I'm saying is, is exactly what they would ask me to do. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, some lady. Which is the only person he decided to blur out for some reason. Um, gave him a positive note. Ignore the haters, you're being peaceful, what you're doing is good, just a friendly reminder, don't give up hope. Okay, so, that's true, um, but he is being perfectly peaceful. He's not, like, rioting like these crazy Black Lives Matter people did over, uh, you know, what happened in 2020. Um, so yeah, there's nothing that this guy's doing that's wrong. Um, he's peacefully protesting, he's doing it by the book, he's doing it the way that uh, Martin Luther King would have liked or what he fought for um what the majority of blm is doing burning down buildings and rioting and killing people for no reason burning uh destroying police cars and stuff and throwing molotov co cocktails um is not peaceful protesting and uh, martin luther king would not approve so that's nice you know a bit of uh encouragement <laughs> And it just ends like that, no official ending to the video. I would have liked to see Rob Bliss, like, have some kind of commentary. That's that, that's, that's the video. Uh, so what do I think about it? I think that the majority of, um, opinions expressed in this video are not racist. And what these people said were perfectly valid and not racist in any way. Uh, there were a couple people who used, you know, uh, racial slurs which I don't condone. Harrison, Arkansas is not a racist town, and there's nothing in this video that actually proves that it's racist or whatever. It's not any more racist than any other town. In fact, if you look up the most racist cities in America, Harrison's not even on the list, which Harrison's not a city. It's what a New Yorker like me would call a village, but people down here call it a city, and it's a city to Arkansans. Um, even though Little Rock is an actual city. Harrison, Arkansas is not a racist city. Uh, don't believe everything you see on the internet. It's been said over and over again, but it's true. Don't believe everything you hear on the internet. Everything in the news is fake. It's fabricated. It's manufactured. It's uh, created to keep people butting heads. This guy's no different. He definitely found a good way to make a couple bucks on YouTube. When you take into account that if you don't support Black Lives Matter, you're not racist. Uh, nobody in this video is racist. None of these citizens are racist. Besides, you know, the few questionable people who used slurs. Which, also, if you use a racial slur, it doesn't mean you're racist. It depends on your intent when you're using the word. Come to Harrison, Arkansas. It's what I call the nicest town in America. And actually, I'm going to show you around. Uh, I'm going to go to this billboard. I'm going to point out some things. There are a lot of other videos where YouTubers um, go to Harrison, Arkansas and check it out and un unveil the truth. Nico Omalana, I don't know how to say his last name. It's actually Nico Omalana. Nico, not Nico. You know, Canto Mando. People have come down here to check it out and see what it's really like and they've uncovered that the truth that it's not a racist town. It's not any worse than any other town. It's not any better than any town. Actually, it is. It is. No, I take that back. It is. It's the best town there is. Yeah, so I'm gonna step outside and show you the town. So I live on the outskirts, but it doesn't take too long to drive into the town. Here we are, Harrison, Arkansas. Now, as you can see, the original billboard has actually been replaced with this one. And the reason this billboard is still up is because one, the First Amendment, freedom of speech, and two, according to the mayor of Harrison, this billboard is not on town property, so they don't have the right to take it down. This billboard is actually on Thomas Robb's property, or at least someone's property whom Thomas Robb is acquainted with. And not a lot of people notice this, but directly above this billboard is an advertisement for an injury attorney named Jason Robb, who is actually Thomas Robb's son.
Now, a little ways up past Walmart, you'll find the Dragon King Chinese Buffet. My family and I have gone to this buffet many times. We loved it. The food is really good. However, sadly, it is now closed and being cleaned out. This is actually the buffet that was featured in Canto Mando's video um, of them visiting Harrison, Arkansas. Apparently, at least what I've heard was that the family who owned it uh, couldn't pay for it anymore and they had to let it go. Now, the last time I ate here, I actually got to meet the guy who was interviewed in Nico's video, Raphael. Yeah. His real name is Raphael, it's not Gandalf. Oh, Gandalf. Very nice guy, and his friend here, who was also featured in the video, owns um, an art shop that is actually located directly behind the Hotel Seville. Now here is the famous Walmart that was featured in pretty much all of the videos. Now quick fun fact for you, Walmart was actually founded in Arkansas by a guy named Sam Walton. And this is actually the second ever Walmart location. Not a lot of people realize that when they visit here. It's obviously not the original building, but it is the original second location. The first location, the first ever Walmart was built in Bentonville, Arkansas, which is near Fayetteville in Western Arkansas near Oklahoma. So yeah, that's just an interesting little fun fact. The second ever Walmart location in existence. It's actually the 4th of July right now, so that's why you might hear what sounds like gunshots. Those are fireworks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. Share the video if you want to. You can subscribe if you want to. Nobody's forcing you, uh, but yeah. Thank you for watching. You will see me in the next one. God bless and peace out.